Hello, uh, this is a tutorial on how to use the mark in and mark out options in Worldly Gig to loop regions of your videos. Uh, I'm uh, starting on a clean installation. I'm going to open up Worldly Gig. I'm using the Oculus Rift at the moment. I'm also using the touch controllers, but I'll be on alternator between the touch controllers and the mouse. So, starting it up as it's a new installation, and we'll get the uh, message here. I've got the Oculus in my lap here at the moment, so I'm going to reset that position. I'm going to press F11, which makes it full screen, makes it a bit easier to see. So, let's load up a video and give a go for marking the ins and outs. I click on there, uh, find a video that I want to load. Uh, let's go for Big Buck Bunny. It's quite a common video. It's pretty good. So, as you can see, you've got your timeline down here. As we play through, the timeline will go through the actual uh, video. It's a cinema, just set that to a cinema and I can reduce the scale because it's a little easier to see. Now the the, uh, the um, keys for it, it's actually shortcuts on the keyboard. Now these are uh, on all of all uh, sort of shortcuts, so you could apply this to any shortcuts on your joypad if you wanted to add it to the gamepad or the touch control or the Vive. Uh, for default, it's actually set to these keys here. So uh, I've got um, a square bracket, open, close, and then the dash. Now, if you can change that to any keys that you want to, but those are the current keys that I've got at the moment. So, as you can see, I'm playing here. I'll turn down the audio just in case that cause a problem. Now if I hit the uh, open square bracket it creates the in point and I can then move to where I would like it to loop to. Uh, across the close square bracket and then you've got that section there. So that will play through there and then when it gets to the end it actually does what, your st what you've set as your end, end uh, setup. So if you've not got it set to loop it will simply go back to the beginning of the video and then pause. I'm going to make this a shorter loop section, so I'm going to put it there, like so. Now I can also go round on either side, so it doesn't restrict me from uh, from viewing the rest of the film, but when I'm within here, now I'm going to press L on the keyboard, and I'll set it to loop on. If I press uh, uh, play it here, it will play through, and then when it gets to the end of that looping region, it will simply go back to the beginning and then uh, of that looping region, like so, and then it plays through again. And that's that's kind of it, really. Uh, you can then move that to wherever you want it to be. So I could then set it to there and set the looping region to a larger point. Set it to there. Now, if I hit delete markers, which is the I uh, think the backslash or forward slash, I can't quite remember. You can see it in the actual controls. Uh, then it will delete both markers and it will go back to what it was originally set at. And these in and outs are actually saved into your any file for the file. So if I go to here, say so laundry mat, and then I go back to Big Buck Bunny, you've got your loop region there already set and it will be set to the beginning of that. And that's it. I uh, hope you find that useful. Um, if you have any suggestions for new features or if you have any problems, let me know. I uh, hope you enjoy using Whirly Gig and I look forward to your comments.